Can you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about you. Uh, hello, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sadat Asad Yaqub, and uh, you can call me Khan. And uh, I belong to Azad Kashmir, and uh, I'm a patient of Dr. Green. Uh, and I've been uh, just a few while since uh, I got introduced with Dr. Green. And uh, his colleagues, uh, first of all, really helped me and uh, they taught me about uh, a lot of the procedures which are possible. Because uh, the main thing is that I was partially blind from the last 20 years and uh, I had severe injuries. I had an accident due to which I lost one eye and I only had one eye. When he did these procedures, after five or six months, uh, after 20 years, my eyesight, uh, my eyesight, you know, it started uh, reacting. The reaction which I started to have in my eyesight and my other body problems, which I had, other health issues which I had, uh, they were like unexplainable. And I have the true story behind Dr. Green's hard work and uh, his accomplishment. And this is nothing but the truth. If, uh, if, if I want to pull up a story, I could have told you that uh, pay this much money and you'll get your eye back, pay this much money and you'll get your stomach back. It is not like that. I came to him and I, I the, the day I came to him, I, asked, I told him that uh, I understand that this procedure works and uh, uh, my humble offerings are there. If uh, um, uh, because I can, I can almost uh, afford my treatment. But Dr. Green, he didn't charge me anything. He gave me the initial treatments just for free. And even right now, sitting over here, I today have my uh, next uh, treatment. And I told Dr. Green that th this is my uh, card and charge me for this treatment. And he said, no, uh, I don't want to charge you. The only happiness which I am getting is that you are getting your life back. So this is all uh, what I would uh, like to tell you more. Can you uh, tell us about the issues you were facing when you first came to see us? Uh, I had two major issues. One was insomnia. Insomnia is an untreatable uh, disease. It is a sleeping disorder problem. And uh, number two, that uh, not a lot of medications used to work for me. And uh, number three is that I had an eye problem. Can you tell me um, you have no eyesight in the left eye, in your left eye, and you had uh, faltering eyesight in, in this eye. Can you tell us um, about that? Uh, my left eye, I didn't have any eyesight, and I was, in, I was told day one that uh, there's nothing much which can happen. But usually if you lose one eye and if it is not functional, then that eye starts gets, starts getting weaker and weaker and then it start gets, starts getting diseases. So uh, after this treatment, my left eye, which uh, I want to point out over here in front of you all, this eye, which has no sight, it instead of uh, diminishing, it instead of uh, getting weaker, it has started to get, in, get healthy and I feel very healthy with this eye now. Uh, and, uh, the right eye, as I told you, like uh, you can compare it like cell phone or TV pixel. Uh, my right eye uh, improvement is so much, uh, for me it is a very big achievement. It is a very big achievement because uh, I was passionate and for me I was just seeing living in the uh, world of shadows. So when it came to the eyesight and the, the right eye, it's gotten a lot better. Tell me about the insomnia. The insomnia also got better. The insomnia got better overnight. The first uh, treatment I had, uh, the moment I went home, I started sleeping and up to now, I'm sleeping and I'm, I don't really sleep. I don't have to, uh, I went to Korea, I went to Germany, especially for insomnia, which was, and I went to Pakistan, uh, very big hospitals, and they really tried to help me out, and uh, Pakistan uh, Army and, uh, Hospital, uh, which is uh, MX, they also really tried to help me out, but uh, then again, there wasn't a permanent solution. 
But then when I uh, saw Dr. Green, and, uh, he treated me, my insomnia problem, it vanished overnight. And uh, the pain I was going through from all these years, which I couldn't sleep even after taking medicine, and it just disappeared overnight. That's great, that's great. So for others who are facing insomnia or you know diminished eyesight, um, you know, we never claim that we're gonna take somebody who's blind and, and repair that. But what would you say to somebody who has diminished eyesight and maybe the insomnia issues um, with regards to considering a stem cell treatment? Uh, I, would, I would just give you an example. It is just like a pen and all. You have insomnia, you have eye problem, you have knee problem, you have ankle problem, you have heart problem, you have sugar problem. Even my uric acid, I have a, my, in my family we had a very high rate of uric acid. And after this treatment my uric acid also decreased, my, my sugar levels also decreased. So can you see how many ways it, it has affected me? It is just like a little expensive multivitamin or it is just like an expensive panadol. If you take it, but thanks to Dr. Green and people like this, it is not that expensive. Uh, and uh, if you take it, I, 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 all I can say is that I, I guarantee uh, that uh, it will do you uh, good. Thank you for that. Can you introduce your friend to us and tell us a little bit about him? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, this is my friend. His name is Mr. Fazan Patak, and he's a very famous sportsman there. First of all, uh, my name is Fazan Patak. I'm 37 year old. I'm partially blind. Uh, we can see the partially sighted. Uh, my first experience about this uh, therapy that uh, was really uh, easy to use, and uh, I just uh, really inspired from the doctor David that he can do a lot for this kind of uh, fashion that they are just uh, thinking that uh, the dark side of the light. But now I, I just feel that maybe the hope comes through and the people uh, of uh, survival so from the blindness, they can just uh, uh, hope for the better tomorrow and uh, I hope that they will get back their vision with that kind of same therapy. Okay, so uh, I'm the official partner of Pakistan Blind Sports Federation and I'm the Secretary General of Ashri with Pakistan Blind Sports Federation. I am just organizing the games for the visually challenged people and uh, I think that uh, there are a lot of people who can survive with the blindness. I think that uh, the people uh, must meet with Dr. David and we can organize the seminar for that kind of patients who, who have a, a vision but a little minor vision. So I think that uh, this therapy will work much better for them and uh, I hope that uh, this therapy will be, become uh, very great for the visually challenged people. The people that you work with um, a lot of them are not completely blind. They do have some eyesight in one or, or both eyes. What's the typical reason for the diminished eyesight? Is there like a top three to five reasons why um, these folks have what, what they have? Actually, uh, at my knowledge, uh, there is the family relations. Uh, if I talk about my story, that I am the uh, I belong to a Patan culture, so we can do, make a marriages in cousin relatives. So uh, the blood cells has been matching up to that. The blindness disease has been uh, shown out uh, after. I'm thinking that uh, the, the main factor about the blindness is uh, just from the gods, and uh, I I hope that. Uh, for the future, that uh, with that treatment, I'm thinking that uh, the blindness will be uh, not more increasing. I think that this whole uh, scenario has been worked properly and good. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys.